Hello everyone, this is Logan, and I know I haven't done this in a while, but welcome to season two, if you will, of App Monday. Today on App Monday, we will be going over hash, today's talking points. This is... This may not interest everyone, because not everyone is interested in the news and current events, but I am, so we'll go over it. Hash is basically a way for someone, if, you know, you're just someone on the move, and, you know, in the morning before you go to work, or before you go to school, or before you go to prison, or however you live your life, you can... Uh, go into hash and look at trending events so let me explain and by the way this is by Hash Ventures LLC and they have done no, no other apps so have a nice evening Logan your next roundup will be ready tomorrow morning so as you can see I already played it but if you hadn't it would say something kind of different so let's push that, and as you can see, it says, Good Morning Logan. And you can create a hash account that's specifically tailored to you. Um, it will kind of give you a synopsis of the news. Now, uh, there is no sound uh, because of how I'm recording this, but if there was, you would be able to hear narration as well. Um, so here's the story about the CIA uh, revealing, uh, I guess it's more on the election fraud of the previous election. Uh, Coke names a new CEO. So this isn't really meant to keep you informed, uh, but rather kind of give you like a synopsis. So just to say like, oh, Coke has a new CEO. Okay, that's neat. And it kind of gives you, goes into a little bit of what the CEO's uh, ideas for are the, uh, for the company, for example. So there's uh, an election recall in Africa, over in Europe. Uh, this guy's found guilty in Utah, something about Al Gore. Uh, over there, something more having to do in Africa. So you get the idea. And when it's all over, you can just every day doing whatever it is people on the move are doing these days, like your taxes or, um, I don't know, drugs, whatever. So if you want to go into an app and look at it more in detail, you can. And you can read a little bit about it, but you can also see tweets now, this is meant to be sort of uh, Twitter-oriented, and in fact, a lot of these are excerpts from uh, Twitter feeds. So, we can look at tweets having to do with uh, the election fraud case, for example. Um, in Obama, in uh, Obama orders a report from Russian election hacking New York Times, for example. And you can click on that. And you can be transported over to this website via Safari. And get your information that way. So overall, I think this might be the best news app on the App Store. Um, especially because it allows you to kind of look at the news... <coughs> and give you sort of an idea of what's going on, but also uh, do it in sort of a quick way. So, like, if you don't have time to read, like, a whole bunch of articles on CNN, which most people don't, you can kind of just get, like, a quick briefing with this app, and if you want to know more, you could either, you know, click on one of these articles... Or you could just use the CNN app. It's not really meant to replace that. It's just more so used to complement it. Or, you know, Flipboard or Fox News or, uh, you know, the Young Turks or MSNBC. Whatever you use for your news. So, 
that's really about it. I highly recommend this app. I use it all the time. So let me know of uh, any requests that you might have for App Monday. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.